Hi everyone, just wanted to share a quick video with you about how to use the calendar tool. I've been getting a lot of questions from teachers about the calendar tool and I think it's an amazing tool for you to use and, and gives your students logging in or your parents logging in some information right in their face on the front page. So to add something to your calendar, don't worry about this create an event right here. Go up to calendar beside the name calendar, click the down arrow and go to calendar. Once you're in calendar, you can see you have the ability to view the calendar by days, weeks, month. I like to leave it on month view and I'll show you why in a minute. But if you'd like to create an event for your calendar, you can just click on the blue create an event and that brings up an event for you to create. It doesn't have to be connected to a piece of content from your course. That's not necessary and I'm sure many of you won't use it in that way. It could just be a reminder for your students to bring something in, something that's happening in the class. Maybe it's a quiz, who knows. So give it a title, always give it a title. And that's really all you need to do uh, at this point to add an event to your calendar. You can give it a description. Maybe there's a form that goes along with something. Maybe there's a Google Doc you have. But using the editors here, you can insert stuff and bring anything into that description, even a video of yourself talking if you wanted. Hey guys, don't forget to bring in your forms on Friday. So I can even do a video if I really want to and bring that into my calendar. Um, we're not going to worry about that. But uh, anything you want from your computer, YouTube, whatever, if you needed to bring that in the description, or you can link to anything else inside of your course using the Quick Links button, or even go grab something from your Google Drive. But again, you don't have to put anything in the description, not necessary. Uh, you can choose your attendees. For the most part, it'll be everybody in your course. Uh, unless you have groups set up, you can add certain groups. Might be to just three kids. Hey, don't forget we have a meeting on Friday with a certain group of students. You can also choose the day and the times. Uh, if you just want to set it as all day, that's fine. If you want to uncheck all day, you can choose specific times for that event. And you can also add a recurrence. If it's a weekly quiz or something that happens on a regular basis, you can add a recurrence and make it happen every day, every week, every month. And then you can add a location. But once you've done what you need to do inside the calendar, you can press create. And now that event will show up out here on my main page of my calendar. There's the reminder I just created right there. Another easier way to use the calendar, another little quick tip from me, is just to go in and go on month view, click on the date, let's go into November, and I, when I'm in month view, I just have to click on the date and I can enter in anything I want. Press create down here at the bottom, it gets a little covered up sometimes. I can click on another date, it's set for everybody in the course, I can click create down here at the bottom, and now that's in. And if I want to edit it, I can click on edit it, edit, and it will bring in that editor that you saw when I pressed on create event. I can add information to it or I can delete it even. If I want it gone, I can press delete and it's out. So there you go, just a quick tip on using the calendar tool. Try it out. Some of you definitely could use with your classes and it's a pretty handy tool. Take care.